Bonjour! Last weekend, my friend and I went to Paris to see a theater performance. So obviously I got a chance to check out a couple of bookstores there. Today I'm going to share with you some of the options for book shopping, especially if you're looking for art books or if you're not that confident in your French yet, but still would love to buy a book as a souvenir from Paris. So the first one on the list is Librairie du Passage. It is located in the Passage Geoffroy in the 9th arrondissement. They have a lot of antiquarian books in French, which I personally could use only as decoration, but they also offer a great collection of used art books. I've seen great catalogs of Rembrandt and Monet, for example. So if you're on the hunt for some rare editions of library quality, you might check that one. Perhaps the most famous bookstore with books in English is Shakespeare and Company. So if you want to find a nice book for your trip back home and pay a little tribute to the famous bookshop, you should definitely go there. It is located in the Latin Quartier. Shakespeare and Company sells new books, primarily in English. And although the original store was closed a long time ago, this new one carries the same tradition and love of literature. Last summer, I had a chance to visit this bookshop uh, for the first time. I got myself a book about a woman who created first Shakespeare and Company, Sylvia Beach. The book is called The Paris Bookseller by uh, Carrie Mayer. It is one of my favorite books of the year 2022, partially because I bought it in Paris and it reminds me of a great time there. And since you're already on the left bank and hang out somewhere around Sorbonne, why not check on out the bookstore with English books? It is called San Francisco Book Company and it was opened in 1997. What I love about them is that they have mainly secondhand books and they beautifully organize them by subject, philosophy, history, movies, you name it. But they also have a huge selection of fiction, all secondhand, so you can easily lose a sense of time there, so be careful. At some point during your trip, you'll find yourself wandering on the banks of the River Seine. You might as well check out the legendary green bookstalls. In Paris, this tradition to sell old books appeared already before the revolution in the 16th and 17th centuries. It is actually from French that we have this beautiful word bouquiniste, which means a dealer of old books. In the 18th century, Paris had gone through the radical changes of Baron Haussmann and acquired its distinguished look and carefully furnished riverbanks. By the 19th century, green bookstalls on both sides of the river became a signature of a great capital. They are regulated by law and there are a lot of rules concerning the size of the booth, so it would not conflict with the overall look of the city. They sell primarily books in French, and I've seen gorgeous copies of Proust and Camus. Unfortunately, I don't read in French, so I just cited and moved on without purchasing any. But if you read in French, or if you aspire to do so, why not support Parisian bouquinists and purchase a couple of them? So this next one is a hybrid of a bookstore and a little art gallery. They can find books uh, on fashion, fine art and design, and good magazines also. When I've been there last time uh, in the summer, unfortunately I didn't make a lot of footage, but you can check their Instagram account actually, it's nice and you can get a sense of it. Uh, so what's cool is that I found there a lot of old issues of Andy Warhol's interview. So I purchased one. Mine is from December 1973, I think you can see the date here. Um, so it's a newspaper, or I would say magazine, uh, established by Andy Warhol in 1969, 
first issues actually look slightly different. I'll put picture here. Uh, but then in 1972, artist Richard Bernstein created the signature look. And till today, the word interview on the interview magazine, it still exists. It's written in this same style. However, without Andy Warhol. Uh, so, if not souvenir from Paris, I think it's just a great gift idea for somebody who likes modern art or maybe Andy Warhol specifically. And this bookstore offer, and uh, they still have a lot of them, so you can, you won't miss them. Last but not least, museum bookshops, of course. Almost every museum in Paris has some sort of souvenir shop. Bigger museums also offer a nice range of books related to their collections or current exhibitions. And chances are you will end up in one of the many museums in Paris, so why not pick a book from their stores? This way you can also support museums. For instance, I went to the Musée d'Orsay this time, so afterwards I paid a visit to the bookstore and I purchased a book about one of the works in the collection. The book is called Whistler's Mother, Portrait of an Extraordinary Life by Daniel Sutherland and Georgia Tuziari. I hope I pronounced the names correctly. And it is, as you can see, about the painting and uh, its author and uh, the subject of the painting. The painting is called Arrangement in Grey and Black number one or artist's mother. Some actually know it by the title Whistler's mother. And actually, let me read uh, an excerpt from the preface. Her name was Anna Matilda Whistler, but the world knows her simply as Whistler's mother. Not even her son, James Abbott McNeil Whistler, thought anyone need know more. Say my name. With that opening line, I could not but purchase this book. So these are all the recommendations I have for you. Thank you very much for watching this video. And if you have other bookshop recommendations in the city of love and light, let me know in the comments. I will check them out next time I'm in Paris. And until then, I'll see you. Bisous and au revoir.